Do you want to apply for a funded PhD position in Norway and do not know where to start? You are in a right place. This video provides you all you need to know for PhD study in Norway. It covers information such as general information about the country, PhD admission requirements, how to apply for PhD positions, grading system in Norway, salary of PhD students in Norway, income tax of PhD students in Norway. If you are watching our videos for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Additionally, you can write your questions as a comment below. Some statistic about Norway. Norway is one of the richest Nordic countries and has a total area of 385,207 square kilometers and had a population of 5.3 millions. The country shares border with Sweden, Finland, and Russia. Residents of the country enjoys universal health care and a comprehensive social security system. Although the country is located thousands of kilometer away from the Middle East, Norway is the world's largest producer of oil and natural gas outside of the Middle East. Therefore, the country has the fourth highest per capita income in the world on the World Bank list. Norwegian is the main national official language of all of Norway. Norway has produced 13 Nobel laureates from which two awardees were chemists, one physicist and two medicine awards. These achievements proved the strong research culture of the universities in Norway. Higher education in Norway is provided by seven universities, five specialized colleges, 25 university colleges and several private colleges. The typical education duration is as follows. Bachelor is three years. Master degree lasts two years. And PhD are three years long. Note that public education is free, regardless of nationality. Given the big economy of the country, most of the universities in Norway have got the state-of-the-art infrastructure and very generous funding. As a result, Norway is one of the most attractive destination in Scandinavia for international students. In Norway, like other Western European countries, PhD students are hired on fixed-term contracts for the period of their study. PhD Admission Requirements Applicants must hold a master's degree or equivalent in the related discipline. The average grade point for courses included in the bachelor's degree must be C or better in the Norwegian educational system. The average grade point for courses included in the master's degree must be B or better in the Norwegian educational system. The master's thesis must have the grade B or better in the Norwegian educational system. Let's now explain how does the grading system in Norway compare to other countries. In a simple way, the pass grades in most of the Norwegian universities range from A which is the highest grade to E as the lowest. A corresponds to marks between 90 to 100. B corresponds to marks between 80 to 89. C corresponds to marks between 70 to 79. D corresponds to marks between 60 to 69. E corresponds to marks between 50 to 59. Fluent oral and written communication skills in English. How to apply for a PhD position. The application documents are very similar to other countries. For application you are expected to submit. Cover letter. CV. Copies of the original master's degree diploma. Transcripts of records and grades. Letters of recommendation. Documentation of English proficiency. 
List of publications and academic work that the applicant wishes to be considered by the evaluation committee. Names and contact details of two to three references. You can watch our videos about cover letter preparation here. Salary of PhD students. The salary of PhD in Norway are very competitive. The salaries are determined according to the collective agreement for academic staff employed by the state sector. The PhD salary scale partially depends on the PhD candidate earlier experiences. The gross salary of PhD students can range from 491,200 up to 534,400 Norwegian kroner per annum. The take-home money or after-tax salary is largely depends on the tax rate. The basic tax rate is 24% of the net income, while the social security contribution is 8.2% of the gross income. In other words, you will pay the state more than 30% of the gross income as tax and social security contribution. However, if you are married or a foreigner living in Norway for a short period of time, you can enjoy many deductions. So, let us say that you earn 450,000 Norwegian kroner per annum as a PhD student. Then you will take home around 26,000 Norwegian kroner per month. Can we ask you to subscribe and click the bell button? If you have any question related to PhD scholarship, write them in the comment.